Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. One of the most important things that we do in Excel spreadsheets is to sort and filter. And in this Excel 2016 spreadsheet, I'm going to show you the uh, most efficient ways to carry out those particular actions. I'll also show you a couple of little tricks along the way that will make your use a little more enjoyable and hopefully more efficient. Now what we have here is a set of data. We're going to convert that data into a table and as you'll see shortly this particular set of data goes down over 2,000 rows. So there are a couple of rules that I need to take into account. First of all, make sure that there are no blank rows or blank columns in your spreadsheet. Otherwise, Excel will only choose uh, by default down to the first blank row or blank column, and you would have to override its suggestion. So the first rule, having checked no blank rows or columns, is to click on any cell in the data, and then in the Insert tab, click on table. Excel will say where is the data and it looks at all of the rows and columns. In this case there are uh, 2,156 rows, so it's quite a large spreadsheet. The table has headers by default that will be ticked and so we can click OK and when I click OK there I see that the uh, filter and sort buttons have been placed across the 11 columns in this spreadsheet uh, which I can now use to sort or filter. So the first thing we're going to do is to look at the sorting. So let's sort the customer ID. At the moment it's sorted in ascending order but what if I wanted to, to uh, sort by descending order? All I need to do is click descending and there we have it. It is now sorted in descending order. Let's go back to ascending, back to where we started, and now we'll look at the actual filtering it, itself. And what I can do here is to filter out the uh, columns or the rows that I don't want to see. So I'm going to click on the uh, button and unselect select all and I just want to see, we'll say Anton. So when I click on Anton, that is all I see. I can also add another if I wish, Anton and Anatra. So now let's clear the filter once we've uh, seen what we wanted to see in those two customer IDs and you'll notice that the filter has been cleared. Now what if I wanted to sort by more than one column. In this case I need to click on the data tab up here and choose in the sort and filter group the sort button because what that does that opens up a dialog box which enables me to add various levels to sort by. At the moment we're sorting by customer ID and I'm going to click the plus button to sort by uh, we'll say then by uh, let's say country there and one last one we'll sort by order ID as you can see you can choose whichever uh, columns that you want now let's click OK and see what happens we'll notice that the customer ID is still sorted then we're sorting by country within the customer ID and then we're sorting by uh, order ID within the various uh, uh, country records. So it makes the finding of data rather easy uh, for whatever you wanted to see by simply choosing the uh, sort button here and then choosing by whatever we want here. So nothing too hard about that. What are the options? Well, the op options are sort top to bottom, so that's nice and easy. 
uh, case sensitive if you wish to use it. Uh, however, uh, most uh, uh, spreadsheets uh, are set up in the way that this particular one is. So we'll cancel that and we'll click OK and there we see. Now, I mentioned uh, a couple of little tricks that uh, you might like to know here and when I'm in the table I see that there is an extra tab across the top here. It's the table tab and when I click it it says that there is a filter button uh, being shown here, these buttons here. If I want I can turn those off uh, however I'd suggest that you leave them on uh, because it makes uh, reading the spreadsheet rather more easy. Now another situation here uh, uh, tab you'll notice that the subtotal button is greyed out because in this version of Excel 2016 that um, uh, subtotal button may well be greyed out for you. So what I need to do is to convert the table back to a range we'll say yes and now in the um, uh, data tab I'll see that the subtotal button is allowed so when I click on the subtotal button and I want to uh, at each change in country use the sum function there are other functions here that I can use as well as there also being other uh, columns available here but I want to use the each change in country add the extended prices for me so I put a tick in extended price and choose OK with the summary below the data so now what I see is that for for example Germany the subtotal is 4273 if I scroll up I'll see for Mexico 8426 so on and so forth down through the spreadsheet. Now remember that we're still in this uh, data as a non-table so what I'm going to do now is to click on any cell and insert a table and what happens the subtotals are now there in a in a table. Previously that command was greyed out so I had to convert back to a range and then back to um, uh, back to a table. So hopefully you found this uh, this particular uh, demonstration uh, useful. Uh, the file is downloadable uh, from the uh, description below uh, the, uh, the video heading itself uh, download it, it's free. Remember to practice. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.